Alright, so uh, this video I'm putting out is uh, about, you know, the Rick Dyer uh, Bigfoot situation. Um, you don't know me, I've never posted about it before. Um, I'm not going to put my name out there or my information because <coughs> I don't feel like anybody needs to know who I am, where I am. Um, but I will put out there, right off the bat, that I am not 100% sure what I believe. Um, I do know, you know, Rick Dyer started out, obviously, when he brought out the fact that he shot a Bigfoot. Everybody attacked him because they knew, right off the bat, that he hoaxed us before. He, you know, we obviously know that he is a liar. Um, and he came out and publicly and formally apologized and admitted to lying to us. Uh, but just because someone apologizes doesn't mean they can't lie again. Um, and it seems to me, you know, if, if somebody wants to make people believe, that he, he wants people to know the truth, he knows the truth. You now it seems to me, if I was, if I knew the truth, I wouldn't even worry about what people are saying to me, what flack they're throwing my way, because I know the truth, and someday they will see it. Um, if my family is getting threatened, if I'm threatened, if my, you know, my teammates are getting threatened, uh, if their family members are getting threatened, uh, you know, that's a little going a little bit too far. You know, it's getting dangerous. Uh, then he goes out to tell, tell us that he's got a baby and uh, that jumped into his arms and that the Bigfoot's got two stomachs, the body's got, you know, multiple, you know, sexual, has both sexual organs. And then they come out, and we find out that none of it's real. None of that was real. And he he lied on purpose to get back at those who was attacking him. Here we go. You already had, you know, a horrible reputation with everybody. Because we knew you were a liar. You tried so hard to prove that you weren't a liar. And now you erase all that because we know you're still a liar. Now, whether or not there's a body... We're not sure. But we haven't seen it. He's done nothing to prove it. Nothing. For us. We know that he loves to lie. He gets off on that for his own personal gain. That was his choice. He didn't have to call them the people that, you know, were threatening him. The main people that, you know, gave him the flag. He didn't have to send, you know, fly them over there. Well, they flew themselves. You know, they paid for the tickets. They got there to find out that it was a joke, and that's basically right back to the Rick Dyer that we all know, a liar, um, and he's putting his teammates, he's putting himself in more danger, even though he said he's worried about threats, and he's tired of people, you know, giving him flack, he's tired of people saying that he's a liar, but he's doing nothing to stop it, he's doing more to make it worse. So if, you know, I, I am, I'm a man, here I am, Rick Dyer, with, you know, one of the biggest scientific discoveries in, you know, in the history of mankind, and there's a lot of people that have spent their entire lives studying, trying to find Bigfoot, studying events, studying possible evidence, and to them, it's a very real thing, even though they haven't found it, it's a very real thing in their lives, and for Rick Dyer to take this and treat it like a game, I'd no longer have any, if I had any, my shred of respect is gone. And that's all I have to say.